Hi everyone and welcome into Wolf's Tavern. I am your host, Wolf or Wolf Angel from Retro and Wolf. And we are associated with GNN, also known as Geek News Now, so you can go check them out at their website of geeknewsnow.net. Now, what I've got for you today is a very simple, really easy recipe of no-bake cookies. And so I already have the ingredients here that I'm going to be able to show you. And you can get these at any store. Most of the ingredients you may already have at home. So we have some pure vanilla extract, some old-fashioned oats. You just want to make sure they're not already pre-flavored some regular milk, some butter, sugar, baking cocoa, and some creamy peanut butter. Whichever brand that you prefer, if you like the store brand or if you have a name brand that you prefer as well, these are just the ingredients that you would need. You can get whichever one that you like. So I'm going to start with showing you guys everything that we would need to do of all the ingredients, of how much we're going to need, and going into that baking process. And then here at the end of the video, you're going to be able to see the final tasty product. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with this. So what we're going to have is going to be starting with three cups of sugar. So I do have my sugar here, just regular plain granulated sugar. I have a two cup measuring cup instead of a three or a four, but we can still go with this. So you just wanna make sure that you're not going to be going too far over on that two cup line. You're trying to get it as even as possible. So, and I just need to keep adding just a little bit more. So then as you can see, there's two cups. So then I'm just going to pour that straight into the pot that I have. And then I just have to get one more cup. There we go. So then there's my three cups of sugar that just go straight into the pot. And then with this, you're going to have just a little bit of butter. And that's going to be four tablespoons of butter that you add in as well. And then you've got some milk here. I'm going to just use this again. So with that milk is going to be half a cup. Just trying to make sure that I'm getting about the right amount. And then you just add that milk as well. And then we're also going to go ahead and add cocoa. And with this cocoa, you're going to need four tablespoons. Now you wanna make sure that when you get it, go ahead and just tap it a bit, make sure that it's flat, not a little hill coming over the top of that tablespoon marker. And like I said, we're just going to do four of these tablespoons. And so then once you have all four and you've got that butter, you've got that sugar, and you've got that milk, then we're going to just mix everything into the pot and then we're going to wait until everything is boiling. And then once we've got all of that boiled, then we're going to be able to add in the oats, the peanut butter, as well as that vanilla. All right, so we're starting to get everything going down and being able to be mixed. What I'm doing, I'm just mixing it. As you can see, some of that sugar and some of the butter hasn't fully melted yet. So we're just mixing them up, trying to break up those clumps. We want this to be as smooth as we can, and we're waiting for this to be able to boil. All right, so we have everything in here that's already melted. And as you can see along the edges that it is starting to do that boiling. So when you, especially when you start seeing that, you're gonna wanna be stirring along the edge, making sure that's not going to burn along the side of your pot. But then that also is indicating that you are right on the verge of it being at a complete boil. So then as you can see, I'm starting to get those bubbles boiling up in the middle. So then we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna turn off our heat and we're going to take this off of the heat. We're not going to be cooking anymore. So then what we're going to do, we're going to add one teaspoon of vanilla. We have two cups of oats. This is only one cup, so I'm gonna have to add a second one. And I would recommend that once you have those two ingredients mixed in. Going ahead, mix it all together before you add your peanut butter. Because if you try to put in your peanut butter right before you're even mixing any of this, it's all gonna clump together and it's going to be even harder for you to be able to mix it. And it's also pretty easy just to dunk these oats into that chocolate mixture that we've already made. There we go. And so then I've already got my peanut butter which all that we're needing is half a cup. 
as I can try to get the peanut butter to come out. As everybody knows, peanut butter likes to stick to everything. And it's okay if you leave some peanut butter in your measuring cup, as well as if you want it to be a little more peanutty, you can add just a little more peanut butter, making sure that you do get that full half cup. Okay, so then once you have all those ingredients along with your peanut butter, you're going to want to mix it. And of course the peanut butter is going to want to try to clump together, so you're going to have to really stir, maybe even kind of chop it a little bit to help break it up. But you're just going to keep stirring until you don't see any more clumpy peanut butter. Because I still have some that's right here just as one big clump. And so we're just going to keep mixing. Once you don't have any more of a clump of peanut butter, when you have a very smooth mixture, this is when you're going to just need a regular tablespoon. So just kind of a larger spoon that you would normally eat with. And we're going to need wax paper ready to go. And so with that, once this is completely, completely smooth, which I'm almost to that point, is when you're going to be using that spoon in order to dollop out enough of this mixture onto that wax paper in order to start making your no-bake cookies. All right, so now that the mixture is all done and ready, like I said, we're just going to use a regular tablespoon that you would normally eat with. You're not gonna to wanna to use the big mixing spoon that you used. And so with this, we just get a clump and then we're just going to put it down onto our wax paper. And you can choose how thin or how thick you want your cookies. So typically, I would just do one, but if you wanted, you can do like one and a half, like there's your half. Or if you want them to be even bigger, you can do two whole spoonfuls. And this is perfectly fine if you make a mess on the wax paper, just kind of like I did with those little ones. We do have kids here in our house, so sometimes we let them have those little bits. That way then they've got something that they can have while they're waiting before they can have a full no-bake cookie. And we're back. So it's been about 10 minutes since we put these on the wax paper and they are pretty solid as you can see. And what you can do in order to get them off the wax paper, some people will use a spatula, but I find it's just easier to pick up your wax paper, push a little bit, and then you can just peel it right off just like a sticker. And as you can see, they're all different sizes. They're all good to go. They are very easy as we've already done. And I have one here that I've already broken apart. That way then you can go ahead and see the inside of it. And I do always love these. And just like I was saying earlier that we have kids here in the house. And so we let them sometimes have the little bits or as you're making these and you see that they're solid, you can help yourself. As you can tell, that's kind of what I do as well. And so with this, with this whole recipe that we have done, it can make about 40 cookies, depending on the size that you make. Because as you can see, I have various sizes within here. If I just use one scoop or if I did two scoops of that mixture. But 40 cookies is still great to be able to take to a party, whether it's at work, if you're having somebody over, you're going to play games or even watch a movie, or if you're like me and you just like chocolate cookies, but you don't want to take the time to actually bake full-blown chocolate cookies, these are also a very good alternative. As you saw, they are very quick and easy to make. So I do want to thank you guys for coming and checking out the video. Joining me here in Wolf's Tavern, once again, I am Wolf or Wolf Angel from Retro and Wolf. And also make sure that you go check us out. We do have YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and we also have a Twitch channel for our gaming of me and Retro. And then we also have a Discord. So if you want to be able to talk with us, give me more ideas of what to be trying to make or any positive comments that you have, feel free to leave those on our Facebook as well as come chat with us on Discord. So thank you once again. Bye.